Just a quick look at these two new XTs that I've had that I've just finished building. Um, this is my first one here. This is from I think it was 1984. It's got an ST412 original and the tandem. Let's fire that up. A 384k RAM card, so it's full 640k to scan through. Uh, the interesting thing about this is the Model F keyboard, um, which from two others I was able to completely restore. Um, it actually took me hours and hours just to get this thing just to be precisely assembled how it was from the factory. Um, so if it's the tiniest bit off, it will make the machine beep, it'll actually crash the machine, which I thought was quite interesting. I'd never seen. Um, the PC with DOS crash before. Six forty K. There we are. Then we've got this other one. Uh, this one's had an aftermarket hard drive and floppy drive fitted to it. But otherwise it's standard. This one's from 1985. Uh, it's not running the original power supply. It's got a 200 watt power supply because the original failed. And I haven't got around to fixing it yet. This one's just using a standard aftermarket keyboard that I found. And then this one is set up the exact same way as the other one. Uh, so that's where I set up one, I used that to configure the other one through the serial cable. This machine's lucky enough to have an AST 6-pack plus, so it's actually got a clock and a uh, spare serial port in that. We've got uh, serial ports and parallel ports on both machines. We've got graphics capable uh, monochrome cards. Uh, yeah, This one's running the original ZBEC MFM controller, floppy controller, all that. It's running the original floppy controller, but it's got a Western Digital XT Gen uh, hard drive controller, which I actually prefer because you can configure it how you like, um, and it's got the low-level format utility built in, which this didn't, so I had to use a IBM Advanced Diagnostics diskette, which was kind of a hassle. Yeah, I haven't really got a lot on here. So yeah, that's about it. It's my two new XTs. Uh, if I sell one, it's probably going to be the one on the left. Uh, it's a little bit hard to part with these machines at the moment. Uh, I have another XT upstairs and uh, um, 5150 as well. Um, that's where the keyboard came from. The keyboard's probably going to have to go back to its original machine. Although it's still being a little bit finicky, sometimes you've got to give it a little tap around um, to stop the errors. Um, but once it's running, as long as you don't move it, it's, uh, it's perfectly usable. I love the sound it makes too. Oops, this is a very odd version of X3, it's F1 to quit. And as I mentioned about the keys, uh, F1 is now not working. Oh, and there it goes. Yeah, so F1's out of alignment now, so I'm going to have to go in there and tighten up things again on the keyboard. Uh, it's a real pain. Uh, if you can get a working one of these, brilliant. If you get a faulty one, uh, unless you have a lot of time, I can't say I'd recommend pulling it apart. And it's a good way to occupy a day or so, I suppose, depending on how coordinated you are. So yeah, that's about it. I'm going to fix this keyboard now.